Good afternoon, class. My name is Genevieve Nunez, and today I will be presenting Chapter 15, certain sections of Chapter 15. Um, chapter 15 is called Liberal Justice and Political Democracy. Most of the chapter revolves around Raw's um, ideas and his theory of political justice. Um, I will be explaining specific sections, those sections being Section 6, Section 7, and Section 8. Um, section 6 is called The Original Position and the Tradition of the Contract Theory. Um, section 7 is called Liberalism and it's Political. And lastly, Section 8 is called Raw's Genealogy of Liberalism. Um, within my description of each section, I will be giving a brief explanation of the section in the book. I will give a background as well and kind of link you to the ideas that are involved during this section. Okay, I will be starting off um, on section 6 of chapter 15. Um, once again, this section is called the original position and the tradition of the contract theory. Um, to begin, basically this part of the chapter is explaining the original position that Rawls created. Um, Raw's intention was to create a scheme of justice and the way that he created it was by creating the original position or to put it in more simplified terms it would be um, the first principles um, in, in his day. Um, he, his views differed greatly from other thinkers at the time. Um, most people would have thought that they were similar but they did have their differences and those differences made the major differences by the way that they were thinking and one of the major things that he deferred from other thinkers was his definition of rationality. Um, other thinkers said that rationality is something concrete and that ignorance are those that cannot be accepted. Um, his way was that he believed that rationality was conceived in the narrow sense, standard and economic theory of taking the most effective means to give to be given so basically meaning that it's not something as concrete it's something that can be altered and changed according to the ends meet and what the final product came out to be um, his way of thinking regarding the original position was to impose a certain sameness upon beings who who prior to that were dissimilar so he wanted to give a new perception of it and he wanted to be able to people not to be judged and people to have the 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 mentality that there are differences and that not everything is so strict and confined but rather there is um differences that can be all the same as well Furthermore, now I will be discussing Section 7 of Chapter 15. Um, section 7 is called Liberalism and it's Political. Um, and this section is a brief section describing the things that Rawls missed when um, writing his theory of justice. Um, it had a major concern and the major concern would be that it lacked the conception of political and the role of citizen. So in his original work, he mentioned nothing of either political or including the citizens in any part of it um, in order to try and make up for his omission and because he was getting backlash about it, he um, put together a, a um, work called Political Liberalism, which was released in 1993. Um, and when he did this, he thought that his problem was solved, but it actually backlashed even more because it created a doctrinal conflict um, and he had no intent of doing it. And he described this as the, the problem that his work had was a torturing question just because, just because it involved so many different conflicts that revolved around 
the main two things that were discussed in his political liberalism, which would have been religion and democracy, um, being that there are so many questions between both religion and the democracy of it all. Um, it was very difficult for him to pinpoint the exact conflict that everybody was having within his work. Lastly, I will be discussing section 8 of chapter 15 called Rawls' Genealogy of Liberalism. Um, and this goes on to explain furthermore why his political liberalism um, release caused such an outbreak and, and such backlash. Um, and one of the major issues was that his work rejected the uh, Madisonian conception. And therefore, by challenging um, this conception, Rawls was taking issues with the mainstream understanding with two centuries behind it that its inner states were negotiable while beliefs tended to be inflexible. Basically meaning that he thought there might be many roads to um, a solution, but that nothing was inflexible, that everything had a way of getting to it. Um, Rawls believes that the issues in religion can be solved, but he does not accept and um, plainly rejects the pragmatic solution. And he goes on to find a more politically reasonable solution um, in order to make a bridge between the religion and democracy conflicts that was brought on by his work.